Hi, this is Wallace from Capturing Reality. This one is about automation and it's meant for absolute beginners. So if you've never programmed anything before, you should be able to follow along. It's not that scary. So here we have a console window. You can get one yourself by clicking and holding here and going down to con. And in here, we can actually type commands directly into Reality Capture. Every command starts with a hyphen. So hyphen, and I'm gonna put in add. And if I press tab now, it'll actually go through every single command which has add in its name. Uh, so I want add folder. And then you can see it tells me that it needs a path to images folder. Okay, so I'll press right arrow. And then that, that's in there and press a space. And now I need to do a path. Now, if I do control enter, I can actually just browse and I'm going to select this image and I'll delete the image part. So we just have the folder in there. Okay. That will actually work. I can just press enter and bang, we've got our images in. So that's the first command, but that's not great. We already have a button for that in the GUI. Uh, let's try and add some more commands. If I press up, it's going to remember what I just last typed in and we'll add a align command. Now align is just hyphen and then align. So if I press enter now, it would add those images and align. Um, but we also want to mesh. Now I'm going to show you a good way to actually find commands. I've got a help here again, click, hold, go down to help right here. And then if I go to open help, I can search and I'm going to search for CLI, which stands for command line interface. And this third tile here is a list of all the commands. So let's just pull that across like that. And if we click on that window and do a control F, we can search for commands. So I want to mesh next. So let's type in mesh. Now I happen to know this one is not so intuitive, the name. So let's just search through next. Uh, next, next, and next. And here we have the three commands for meshing. Calculate preview model, calculate normal model, and calculate high model, uh, which is similar to what we have in the GUI up here. So create model where we have preview high and normal. I want to calculate normal model. And I strongly recommend copying and pasting from the help. So control C there, and then we can just paste that into our line here, control V, and remember that hyphen, every command is a hyphen, you will get an error if you don't put that in. Okay, next let's do a texture. So I happen to know that is hyphen, and then calculate, and then capital T, texture. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something else here. Let's just expand this again and search for texture. Okay, next, uh, next, let's go through till we find our actual texturing uh, command. There we go, calculate texture. Now you can see here we have required parameter. There's none for calculate texture, but you have an optional parameter, params.xml. Now this is just a file which saves all of the settings that you want, which gives us a lot more control when we're automating. And you can see quite a lot of these commands have required and optional parameters. So how do we make an XML? Um, now the easiest way is in the GUI actually. Um, if we go up to mesh model and then the settings um, for uh, making a texture and the default is actually 8K, um, but let's imagine that we want a single 2K texture. Um, otherwise, every time you'll just get an 8K texture if you don't put the optional parameter in there. Now we can save this as an XML here with this button, save settings. And I'm gonna save it into this folder. Um, auto log metadata. Um, the, the data set here is a log, um, nothing to do with logging. Um, and let's save that as log text. And it will automatically give it an XML extension, save that. And now to put that optional parameter in, same again, space, and then control and enter. And then we go back out to auto log and go into metadata. And there is our autolog.txt. And that's actually done. So we have a complete sequence here. Uh, we're gonna add a folder of images, uh, align them, calculate a normal model, calculate a texture. 
um, using um, our parameters. So we should end up with a log with a 2K texture. Now, if you want to make a sequence, it's very easy. We just press this plus button here and we can call this process uh, folder, maybe. Uh, command, okay. And then if I go to the workflow tab here, I have a new button, um, this one here. So let's make a new project. Uh, don't save that. And we can just press process folder. There we go, it imported the images. Now it's aligning them. It's finished processing. You can see my log here. And if I have a look at the log, you can see it does have a single 2K texture. Uh, now I'm just gonna run you through the two other ways of automating things with Reality Capture. Now, one is an RC CMD file. So I'm just gonna copy all of this, Control C. And now I will open up Notepad and just paste that in there. Control V and then File, Save As. And I've got a folder here called Scripts and I just need to give it the extension RCCMD. So let's call it a process a folder and then dot and then RCCMD um, and save. So I can just go to my folder here um, in the scripts and you can see I've got process folder RCCMD. Now to run that, all you do is drag and drop it into Reality Capture. Um, I'll just quickly show you that. Uh, let's make a new one. Let's not save that. And we will go to that folder and drag and drop that into Reality Capture and it instantly starts processing, which I will abort. I might need to abort a few times because it will abort several calculations. And up there, we're all good. Okay, so the final one I'm going to show you how to do is a batch um, file. So let's go back to Notepad. And again, you'll write it in Notepad. Um, let's do File New. And this time we're going to do it in a slightly different way because we have to start with a path to Reality Capture. So uh, let's just cheat and do it this way. So Control and Enter. Uh, and then I'm actually in the Reality Capture folder there. And let's find Reality Capture EXE there. That's our file. So that is our path to Reality Capture. So Control C and we'll go back to our notepad and then put that in as the first line. Now, um, in, in the batch, you can actually go to the next line. So I'll just put control V there. And then what we do to go to the next line is I'll just put a space in and then um, I do shift six, that's what it is on my keyboard, to do this little up arrow. And that means it's gonna go straight to the next line. Um, and what we could do, um, I'll just paste actually all of this in. Let's just go back to the beginning and we'll just copy and paste our whole script there, C, and then go back and let's paste it in here, Control V. And it can be a lot neater if we just stick everything on a different line, each command, because then it's a lot more readable. Um, oh, we missed out the calculate model there, but do remember that you do need this, um, little up arrow at the end of each line. And up arrow there. And that should work, we'll save that. And this time we want a BAT extension. So we will call that uh, process folder and dot BAT for a batch file, save. Now this one, we don't actually need Reality Capture running, so we can kill Reality Capture there. We don't need to save it. And we can just double click our process folder dot bat. Oh, I'm renaming it. And I'll just drag the command line in here. It's over there. And you can see it's running and it's sending all of those commands to Reality Capture. And you can just take my word for it. It's gonna do the exact same thing as our button. So that's everything. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.